Okay, this is 11 chains, which is going to result in 10 single crochets. Um, a lot of people might teach you that when you do your, that the starting chain um, on, for each row counts as a stitch. Um, I don't follow that rule because I find that my work comes out looking very untidy with these like little gaps at the ends and it also comes with sort of skew. We're going to have 10 single crochets done in this first row. So what you want to do, if you look carefully here, this is the chain that's closest to your hook. We're going to skip that chain and we're going to work into the next chain which is right over here. So not here, but here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your hook and you want to slip it in through that top of the chain like so. If you can see it. Okay, you want to slip it through like that. And then you're going to yarn over like we did with the chaining. So keep the yarn coming over your hook like that. And you're going to pull it through that loop and now you'll see you've got two loops on your hook. What you want to do is you want to yarn over again just like we did at the beginning and you want to pull it through both loops. Pull it. There's your V at the top of it and that's your first single crochet. Doesn't look like much now but it will later on. Okay, so then you'll want to go into the very next chain, which is right there. And you'll again want to push your hook through that top loop, like so. And then yarn over and pull it through that loop, like that. And there you've got your two loops on the hook. And then you'll want to yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Now you've got two single crochets. If you look on the top here, you'll see there's your first V and there's your second V. That's your two stitches. I'm going to show you again how to do this. So you're going to put your hook through that loop just like that and you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through two loops on the hook yarn over again and pull through both loops and there you go that's your third single crochet so that's what it should be looking like now as you go along you see it tightens each of those so those holes will disappear the further you carry along okay so if you want to you can pause the video go back a couple seconds and rewatch again how to do that but otherwise you can carry on um, all the way to your last stitch, your last chain over here. Make sure that when you get there you've got 10 single crochets. I will meet you back here and I'll show you how to proceed on to the second row. Okay, now, um, now we're going to just finish that final single crochet for row one. Ten, there you go. It should now be looking something like this. Okay, uh, you just want to double check so just pull your loop nice and big here so it doesn't come undone while you're busy counting. Uh, but just double check that you do indeed have ten. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and that's your first row done. Now you just put your hook back in and tighten the loop around it. Now this next part is called the turning chain and as I explained before we do not count it as a stitch. Okay, so you just want to do exactly the way you did your starting chain. You just yarn over, pull it through that loop and there you've got one chain like so and then you turn your work because you'll always be working from right to left um, and so what you want to do now you see this is where most people get confused from different videos 
um, because one will explain to do it this way and one will explain to do it that way. Because I'm not counting the chaining, that turning chain as a stitch, I'm going to be working right into this very first um, single crochet right there. Okay, if you were learning to do where this counts as a stitch, you'd be doing it on the second, not that one, but that one. Uh, but like I said, you'll end up with some nasty lo looking little holes in your work and it'll go a bit skew. So don't count that. So you'll want to crochet right into this very first stitch. So what you want to do, and also make sure you don't make the same mistake most people make it in the beginning, which is only putting it through the one, the one loop on your hook, like that. You don't want to do that. That is actually a very specific stitch and... Um, I'll be teaching more about that specific stitch later on, but for now we're doing just normal single crochets. So what you'll want to do is you want to put your loop, your hook through both loops on the top of the stitch. There's your V from the top of the stitch. You want to make sure your hook is through both ends of that V, like that, okay? Let me just split them a bit so you can see, okay? two loops on the hook plus your chain loop then you want to yarn over pull it through both those loops the, that V okay pull it through both of them and there you've got your two loops on the hook and then you'll want to yarn over and pull it through both both um, loops and there you've got your first single crochet of row two. Okay, now you'll want to insert your hook again right in through the top of that stitch through both parts of the V and you'll want to yarn over and pull it through both those loops and then you've got your two loops on the hook and then you yarn over and pull through both loops. There's your single, your second single crochet for row two. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time how to do it. So what you want to do, put your hook through both of that ends of that V, yarn over and pull through and there you've got your two loops, yarn over, pull through and there's your third single crochet for row two. Okay, so I'm going to carry on all the way to the end and I'll meet you back there. Again, you can stop the video and go back a couple seconds and re-watch how to do um, these stitches. But otherwise you can just carry on on your own and meet me back here. Okay, so now we're coming back and we're doing the tenth and final stitch of the single crochet row two. Okay, so yeah, just again, you push it through both loops on the top. Sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle, so you can use your thumb just to help get those two parts of the V on top of your hook okay and then yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through both and there you've got two rows done with 10 single crochets in each row okay you can just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you'd like to watch the full lesson, you can do so by clicking here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.